Welcome. My name is Dominique Junot. I work for Oracle Server Technologies. This is the seventh demonstration of seven demos about in-memory con store new feature introduced in Oracle Database 12102. This demo illustrates how DatePump behaves while exporting and importing in-memory objects and their attributes. Let's first export an in-memory table, the IMCT table. The table has the following in-memory attributes, in-memory compression for query, no in-memory priority, and in-memory auto-distribution for rack environment. We use export data pump to export the in-memory table by using the usual export data pump parameters. We drop the table in the source database. And now we re-import the in-memory table back in the same database with all the current in-memory attributes. We therefore use import data pump to import the in-memory table by using the usual import data pump parameters. You can observe that the import parameter transform which enables you to tell data pump to modify the DDL generated during import has a new possible transform name in memory. A value of no tells Oracle data pump to drop the in memory clause from all objects that have the attribute assigned during the import. A value of yes tells Oracle data pump to keep the in memory clause. The value yes is the default, thus it was useless to mention it for this case in the import command. Check that the table has been re-imported with the same in-memory attributes. We drop the table again and now let's try to re-import the in-memory table back into the same database as a no in-memory table and check that the table has been re-imported with no in-memory attribute. Why the table is still an in-memory table, but with different in-memory attributes, like the in-memory priority? The table inherited the in-memory attributes of the table space it is stored in. The in-memory transform name set to no is very useful in case of database migration, during which the DBA wants the new database to use in-memory features. The DBA could pre-create the table spaces with appropriate in-memory attributes and then use transform in-memory set to no on the import data pump command. Without this parameter, the user would have to alter every object to add the appropriate in-memory clause. If the DBA wants to disable any in-memory attribute that would be inherited from the parent table space, the DBA would use another transform name, the in-memory clause, set to no in-memory. Oracle Data Pump uses the contents of the string as the in-memory clause for all objects being imported that have an in-memory clause in their DDL. This transform is useful when you want to override the in-memory clause for the object in the data pump. Now, the table is a no in-memory table. We drop the table again. And now we want to re-import it back into the same database with explicit new in-memory attributes like in-memory compression for capacity high and in-memory priority medium. We use the transform parameter with the in-memory clause transform name to explicitly set our in-memory compression and in-memory priority values. Check that the table has been re-imported as an in-memory table with the desired in-memory attributes. You discovered two new transform names used by Oracle Data Pump to import in-memory objects. 
This is the end of the demonstration and thanks for watching.